So from time to time, your neck or back may feel stiff or sore, but how do you know when it's something that could be serious? And Dr. Sunday Euro is an orthopedic surgeon at the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute Riverside, and Kristen Graves is one of Dr. Euro's patients. So Kristen, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to get into your story a little bit coming up in just a second, but uh, doctor, you are an orthopedic spine surgeon. What is the difference between that and a neurosurgeon? Very good question because I get that all the time. Uh, orthopedic spine surgeons are actually trained to treat uh, spine conditions, neck and back conditions, uh, as well as the neurosurgeons. The difference between a neurosurgeon and an orthopedic spine surgeon is that uh, orthopedic spine surgeons, we don't do brains, but we do necks and we do backs, and we are equally trained with the neurosurgeons. Speaking of necks and backs, what is it that we need to know about neck and back pain? There are some statistics that I know that you have to share with us. Actually, neck and back pain is very pervasive. Um, about four out of five people, or 80% of people at one point in their lifetime, we have symptoms of back pain and neck pain. And so this is really very pervasive, and a lot of times, uh, people can actually treat themselves with uh, medications and just rest and uh, sometimes uh, just doing less activities and they can feel better. But when do they, if someone is suffering from neck and back pain, at what point in time should they see an expert such as yourself, a surgeon? What are some of the indicators that we should come and see someone like you? Usually when the pain is not getting better, after a week or two, sometimes three, and they've taken over-the-counter medications, Aleve, uh, ibuprofen, uh, just going to have numbness, tingling, some weakness. Uh, those are the symptoms that, become, that are serious and they need to see a okay. uh, yeah. spine surgeon. So actually, Kristen, I think that you, I understand you've had a neck injury. So when did you know that you needed to go seek some treatment? I was in an auto accident and after a couple of months of my headaches and arm weakness not going away, I decided to make an appointment with Dr. Arrow. Um, he treated me for the weakness and numbness that I had in my arms. Hmm. And what did he do specifically? What was the treatment that he gave to help with your, with your neck? And At first we started out with medications mm -hmm. and those kind of relieved the symptoms but they weren't really targeting the real issues I was having. So we tried physical therapy, we did neck injections and after about nine months of treatment with no uh, real results that's when we decided to go forward with doing surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, Dr. Iroh, tell us what is this XLIF procedure? Um, and can is you that explain? the surgical procedure that she's referencing? Sorry, not to no, just to try I actually, to... uh, Christine had a cervical disc replacement, which is different from the XLI procedure. I can talk about both of them, but probably want to talk about what sure. yeah, treatment she received first. Um, actually, uh, Christine had a cervical disc herniation, which means that the disc in the neck was ruptured and it was pinching the nerve. That's why she was having some numbness and tingling and weakness going down the arm. And after all those other treatments failed, we decided on surgery. The treatment options for surgery for her was a fusion procedure whereby we fused two spine segments together, um, just like shows on this model. We can fuse two spine segments together with a plate, or we can also do what is called a non-fusion surgery, where it's a disc replacement whereby you can have movement. You can see a movement of, mm -hmm. the, uh, of, of the disc, and that's what uh, Christine had. Wow. And how do you feel now? I'm doing really well. Um, I don't have to take medication on a regular basis. I'm able to resume my physical activity. Uh, it's like I didn't have any issues. So wow. I'm doing really well. I've, um, I'm about six months out of surgery. Wow. So how about this other procedure? Not the one that she had, sure. but another one that's very innovative. Talk yes. about that. The x lift procedure, we name it, is, means extreme lateral interbody fusion. Basically, uh, what that shows, as the video is showing, we fix the back from the side, the small incision of about three centimeters, and uh, we go through uh, very minimal muscles. We don't disrupt the muscles uh, that much. We're able to take out the disc, as the video is showing, and then replace that with a cage and the bone graft material. And then, by so doing, we can open up that space, uh, as, you, uh, as you can see on the video, and then uh, we then put a plate to, to fix or, or stabilize that. That's the extreme lateral interbody fusion. Uh, it's minimally invasive. Mm. 
Yeah, and I'm just, I think from a personal experience, I'm not sure when you started working with JOI, rather, but it must be very rewarding to be able to transform people's lives. I mean, you went from the car accident, being in so much pain, having to take medication on a regular basis, and now you say it's like you're, you're just, you're back to normal, right. which is incredible. It must be very rewarding for you. It is, and it's very nice to hear patients tell me, you've changed my life, or you've given me my life back. Back, yes. And so I tell patients that, you know, there is life after back surgery. A lot of people think that once they have back surgery, you know, it's all downhill, but, you know, there is life after back surgery. There are some sites they can go and actually check that out. It's called the betterwayback.org. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Well, and thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate you both, and thank you so much for sharing your story. And we'd like to thank Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute, of course, for sponsoring this segment. And you can learn more by visiting joi.net, joi.net. You can also call them at 904-388-1400, 388-1400.